Hey guys, welcome back. I've uh, been missing you. I hope you all had a nice spring break. I uh, got a couple activities we're going to do today, so hopefully these will work for you at your house and you get some nice weather that you maybe you can do it outside. It's a good thing to get outside and stay active during this time. I know it's easy to get into a TV show or get on your uh, computer or tablet and play games, but it's really important that you get outside or at least get active in your house and make sure you're getting that exercise. It'll help you sleep and it'll also help your immune system and help your body do a good job of staying healthy. So we're gonna get into some stuff. I've got a few activities for us today. We're gonna work on catching and passing for basketball. And then when that's finished, we're gonna move over and we're gonna do some gross motor skills and some things that you can work on outside to help you improve your overall fitness. So we're gonna start like we normally do with our warm-ups, so find yourself a space and stand up and we're gonna start with our arms out. We're gonna do big circles forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, now backwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. What comes next? Waist bends. So we'll put our hands on our sides and we'll bend at our waist. Down, up, side, side. Good. Let's do it again. Down, up, side, side. Let's do two more. Down, up, side, side. And one more time. Down, up, side side very good what comes next twists we'll put our feet facing forward arms up and we're just gonna twist our top back and forth four five six seven eight nine ten very good after we do twists we're gonna do our ten jumping jacks put your feet together arms down at your sides and we're gonna do 10 jumping jacks. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Very good, very good. Okay, we have a nice little pad here that's pretty clean, so we're gonna do our next part. We're gonna sit down, put our legs out straight in front of us with our toes pointing up towards the sky and we're gonna reach for our toes and hold it for five seconds. Ready? Reach! One, two, three, four, five. Good, okay, relax. Let's do it again. Reach! One, two, three, four, five. Very good, relax. And one more time, one more time. Ready, reach! One, two, three, four, five. Great job. What comes after this? Butterfly stretch. Put our feet together, hold it with our hands. We're going to try to bring our nose to our toes. Nose to toes, five seconds. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Head up. Let's try that again. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, head up, and one more time. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Very good, very good. Okay, now that we're nice and stretched out, we're gonna move into some basketball skills, and this is gonna have to do with passing. So we're gonna have my helpers set up here, and I'm gonna show you two ways to do it. If you're sitting down, if you're playing with your friend and, that, and your friend is sitting down, we're gonna have my daughter Lila is gonna sit in the chair and then my other co-star Stella is gonna stand here and look back this way towards me. So the first thing we're gonna do is a bounce pass and we're gonna have the kids work on having the ball with two hands, reach it over their head and then bounce it back to us. So I'll start with Stella. 
bounce it nice and easy. We're not trying to show them how fast we can bounce. We want them to catch it, and then we're going to have them bounce it back. So, ready? Catch. Good catch. Over your head, two hands, and bounce it to me. Okay, that's a good try. I want you to hold it with two hands over your head, and then see that line? You're going to aim for that line and bounce it back to me, okay? Let's try it again. It's all right. That's why we're learning. Ready? Catch. Good catch. Over your head. Bounce it. Good. Let's try one more time. Catch. One, two, three. Over your head and bounce it. Good. That was real good. Now let's say we're trying with someone that's sitting down. I don't want to bounce the ball to them so hard that it could bounce up and hit them in the face or hit them in the chest. So you'll be able to find if you just take a little bit off it, you can bounce it up so it pretty much lands right on their lap and then we can work on them throwing it back to us. So I'm going to set up and I'm just going to bounce it to Lila, nice and easy, and it went right, right at her knees. It's better to be short than too powerful and you'll get a feel for it as you keep playing with your kid. Now over your head and back to me. That was perfect. Try one more time. Bounce. Over your head. Back to me. Perfect. Next, we're going to move into a chest pass. And that's very similar, but you're going to hold the ball with two hands and you're going to hold it in front of your chest and then push it out back to the person you're playing catch with and try to bounce it back to them. So we'll go back to Stella. Have her catch, catch, good catch. Now from your chest and push it to me. Good, pretty good. I want you to try to bounce it though. We'll try one more time. From your chest, catch, good catch, bounce it. Good. And we can do that as many times as we want until we get confident about pushing it from our chest. Let's try with uh, Lila. Catch, from your chest. Good. Let's try one more. Ready? Catch. Good. And from your chest. Very good. So those are the two passes we're going to work on today. Overhead pass, where we bounce it back to our partner, and a chest pass. Again, two hands in front of our chest, and we're just going to push it out of our chest, right into the ground, and bounce it to whoever we're playing with. Now, we're going to move on to some gross motor skills. And I have some things set up over here if you want to follow me over. Hey, just watch out for our little satellite, uh, satellite dish here. But I just have a couple of frisbees I had around the house that I set up about 20 feet, 25 feet apart, so we can work on some gross motor skills. So what we're gonna try to work on is galloping, sliding, skipping, and then we can, we can try just running. So we'll start at our first marker, and the first thing that I'm gonna have my Lila do is show us how to gallop. So she's gonna gallop from her spot. Stella, come over here. She's going to gallop from her spot all the way to the next spot and then turn around and go back. So let's see how we gallop. Ready? Like a little horsey. Ready? Go. Good galloping. So she comes all the way to this spot, turns around, and she's going to go all the way back and stop. That was good. That's galloping. The next thing that she's going to work on is skipping. Now skipping can be difficult, but if you remember how the, the little steps in it, that can help you do it much better. So when we're skipping, you're going to take a step, and then the same foot that you took a step with, you're going to hop once on. Then you're going to switch feet to the other foot, take a step, hop, step, hop. Just like that. Let's watch uh, Lila do it. She's going to skip all the way here and all the way back. Let's skip. Ready? Go. Step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop. All the way around. Very good. That was skipping. 
The next skill we're going to work on is sliding, slide step. When we slide step, we're going to have our feet facing in front of our body, and when we move, our feet are going to come together and then back apart. We don't want to cross over, we just want to come together and then push back apart. And then we'll slide all the way down and slide all the way back. Do you understand how to do that? Face sideways, so face the house. And then we're going to slide step all the way down and all the way back. Ready? Go. Go. You can go a little faster. See, there's like a little jump in there. Now all the way back. Very good, very good. And the last thing we can try is just a run, just a little wind sprint to see how fast we can run from one spot to the next, and then take a little break, turn around, and run all the way back as fast as we can. Let's try that. We'll do our sprint. Ready? Go. Good. And then she turns right around and goes all the way back. So we can do those probably three to five times each on each one of those skills and work on how we're going to do it and trying to do it the proper way and that'll give you a lot of good exercise that you can work on today and tomorrow and every day to make sure that you're getting your daily exercise and you're staying active. I miss you guys. Keep working hard and I'll see you again soon.